Hi guys, your trainer Kurt Hartman here, owner and head trainer of Pro Fitness Training with this month's installment of the video series. Today's video is going to be all about one of my favorite forms of training, calisthenics or bodyweight training. Now the reason I love bodyweight training is pretty simple. You don't need any extra tools or any extra space. All you need is somewhere you can move and yourself. Now my background is in martial arts so all we did when I first started was bodyweight training. And the beauty of that is, is once I got really strong with a lot of the body weight drills that I was doing, it made my transition into weightlifting and kettlebells much, much smoother, and I was able to lift much heavier weights than people would have assumed. Now, there are some staples when it comes to body weight training, you know, such as push-ups, squats, sit-ups, things along that nature, just so you're building all areas of your body. And in this video, I'll show a couple variations and ways that you can do them. As always, do them safely, correctly and I like to recommend full range of motion but there are times where you just work partial as well. So my workouts like I was saying were pretty boring. I did push-ups, sit-ups, handstand push-ups and uh, a lot of squats, you know, working single leg and both legs. So for this I'm going to show you a couple different variations. For the squats, starting out traditionally you want to go with your feet just outside your hips, working that full range of motion, sitting all the way down all the way up. Now this can be done from multiple stances. If you have tight glutes initially, your feet are going to be a little bit wider, toes a little bit out. Same thing there, just squatting down, going that way. That one's going to be a little easier on the hips. Or the narrow, which is one of the progressions towards a pistol, and I'll show a couple of those as well. Feet together, same thing, squatting all the way down and up. Now those are a little more of the basic, so I'm obviously using both legs. If you want to make it a little more challenging, you can go into unilateral or single leg motions. For that, pistol, same thing, just squatting all the way down, as I almost fall, driving up, working that full range, getting all the way down, this foot stays off the ground, driving up. Now, similar rules apply for push-ups. Ideally, when you're starting off, I like to go militant style push-ups, which would just be hands under my shoulders, elbows in nice and tight, dragging to my body, pushing up, all the way down, all the way up. Now for these, you can also do different hand grips, different things for your wrist to change things. Start out with the basics, then work into more advanced things. <clears throat> One of my favorites was always the knuckle push-ups, obviously with martial arts, building a lot of punching power. You want to go on your two punching knuckles for those. <clears throat> really, you know, same, same rules apply for the push-ups all the way down and the way up. If you're having a hard time from the beginning with the push-ups, start from your knees. Simple there. It's going to feel a little bit easier with your elbows up about 45 degrees. Going down and up. You just want to build and build and build until you can start to do some of those more advanced ones. Until you can do the more advanced ones, stick with the basics and build that solid foundation. Now as far as the abs go, everyone's done our seam crunches and sit-ups. Keep it nice and basic. When you're starting out, you might want to have someone wedging your feet down so they're not coming up like this. You can start with crunches, full sit-ups, so you come all the way through, straight leg raises, things like that, or the full via. Exhaling as you come up, reaching for those toes. One of the most important body weight exercises that we all used to do, probably in elementary school, that seems to be forgotten, the back bridge. Now, this is great for spinal health, for your rib cage, for your breathing, and for overall functional range of motion. We all spend a lot of time crunched over, sitting at desks, sitting in your car, sitting at home watching TV. You're doing a lot of this, a lot of flexion work. You need to train that extension. Now these, there's, there's another video you can look up in the series of just building your back bridge to show the progressions to build up to it. For now, I'm just gonna show the full range of motion. Getting your hands in place, and even getting this flexibility in the wrist might take some time. Start out small, build into it. Going all the way up and all the way down. The bridge is a wonderful exercise. This can be done for reps, as in a bridge push up, or you can go for static hold and just hold that top position. Really building that strength and flexibility in your spine, I promise you, you will reap the benefits of this exercise. It's so extremely beneficial, I can't even explain. So, with that being said, we're going to go to this video's workout challenge. Alright guys, here it is. All you're going to need for this workout is a stopwatch or a timer that you can set for 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. It's going to comprise of four exercises, Spider-Man climbers, 
a walk up to push up, body weight classics, and leg raises for the abs. I'm going to show the four exercises. Again, always keep strict form. You're going to be going for six rounds of these, okay? So it's going to look like this starting out, Spider Man climbers. Push up position, control front on the side right here. For these, you're going to be getting your foot all the way up by your hand, opening up those hips. Kind of like a mountain climber, just with a greater range of motion. Sinking down, working those hips. For the walkout to push up, for these, folks, I'm keeping your legs straight. You're going to walk your hands forward, all the way to a push up position, all the way down, all the way up, walking your back, keeping those legs straight, touching your toes, walking your right back forward into a push up. All the way down, all the way up. For the Cossacks, you're going to be going side to side on these. Take your time, work with the range that you're comfortable with, eventually going for that full range. Feet apart, you're going to be dropping down, turning your toes up, sitting as low as you can comfortably, and up. Down the other side, and up. If you're looking to more advanced, you're going to go all the way down, sit down, drive back up. Same thing on the other side, on the side to side. Now for the leg raises, you're going to be laying flat on your back, Hands under the top of your glutes, laying back to keep your shoulders elevated. Legs pitch together straight toes forward, lifting your legs straight up and down. If you'd like to do a more advanced version, you can do them off the pull-up bar, hanging leg raises off there. That's going to be one of the most beneficial ab exercises you can do. Remember, go for six rounds, 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Enjoy. Hey guys, well summer really seems to be in full swing around here, which is making us very excited. We've had a lot of people putting in great work, getting great results, making progress, and really earning those beach bodies. And we want to make sure that you are getting in here as often as you can, and that you're really giving 100% at each one of your workouts, really making them count. Now I just wanted to mention that we actually had to reschedule last month's technique workshop to this month, so it's gonna be the swing squats and deadlifts still, and that's gonna be on June 21st. So make sure to get your name on the list for that and let any of your friends and family members know so they can sign up for it as well. Now of course, as always, if you have any questions about your progress, your goals, um, any of the workouts, any exercises, if you wanna schedule one-on-ones, talk about supplements, anything that you need that is related to fitness and health, make sure to let Kurt know right away.